New tonight, Cranston police introducing some new technology today to train officers on the use of lethal force. The new technology allows officers to run through scenarios or encounters that would require a life-saving decision. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen got a first-hand look at this technology today. He joins us live in studio now with more. Steve. Well, that's right, guys. I went through it myself, and it's a little nerve-wracking, and that's the point. Beyond training officers, they hope it can be a good tool to show citizens how hard it is to make those split-second decisions. They aren't real guns. It's not a real situation. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! But it feels real. We only have one chance to get it right. And we have to make the decision extremely quickly. The Cranston Police Department unveiled their new firearm training simulator. It's like a realistic video game. It walks officers through a situation where anything can happen. Once complete, it can track and hone their skills. These scenarios present the real-time life scenarios that many of our officers encounter and face on a daily basis. This setup will be a full-time training tool, not just for officers. It'll also be used at citizen academies so residents can see what an officer goes through. I went through it myself and struggled to make the right decision. Cranston Mayor Alan Fung, Speaker Nicholas Mattiello, and Attorney General Peter Kilmartin also trained with it. Kilmartin says he'll have his prosecutors go through this as well to help them on cases. But now with a better understanding, a better training, more education, they will make a better informed decision as to whether an officer was justified in a shooting or not. Bringing this simulator to Cranston cost $63,000. Half came from a legislative grant, the rest from the city. A better trained officer enhances that process, enhances the relationship between the citizens and, and the department that's working so hard to keep them safe. And on top of the simulator today, police will also showed off a new protection in their cars to help against an ambush. If an officer is parked in a cruiser and someone walks behind their car, it'll be picked up by sensors and the doors will automatically lock and the windows will roll up. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.